The Cincinnati man accused of plotting an attack on the U.S. Capitol is in a Kentucky jail tonight. He had been locked up in Butler County. We're still working to learn why 20-year-old Christopher Cornell was moved to Kentucky. He was arrested last Wednesday and charged with plotting to explode pipe bombs and then to shoot lawmakers and staffers as they fled from the Capitol building. Cornell had recently converted to Islam and claimed his faith motivated the planned terror. But a local Islamic group tells our Elise Coulter that sort of blasphemy hurts true Muslims. A call to prayer. Inviting local Muslims into the Islamic Society of Greater Dayton stores and into this room for midday prayer. It's a way of life. A way of life for Osama Abbas. It defines how we're supposed to live our lives on a daily basis. Abbas prays five times a day. In my opinion, I think all religions are peaceful. It's a peace that he says all Muslims practice. Islam teaches us that we can't even harm animals. Um, so how are we supposed to treat other human beings? For Abbas to watch the attack in Paris on TV. It hurts. Um, it hurts a lot. To harm innocent people, that's not allowed. That is that is not, I mean, that, that is a direct violation of what the religion teaches. Peace is what Abbas says the Quran teaches. And when those who say they're Muslims attack the innocent, Abbas says it's the true Muslims who suffer. They just want to stay out of the spotlight. They don't want any attention. Um, they're afraid that if they speak up, that they're going to get attacked. A reality Abbas and his fellow community lives with every day. It's tough. It's it's tough. And, and I don't know how you handle that. I don't know how you're supposed to handle it. Reporting in Dayton, Elise Coulter, ABC 22 News.